Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV. We just got building the DB5 laser uh, uh, drone uh, for a customer of mine, and now we're getting to the programming side. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and just pop this up here. Here's Betaflight, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. <clears throat> Plug it in. <clears throat> get some coffee going. All right, now let me see if I can just get, let me log in here and turn all this off real quick. This, is gonna, this buzzer is going to drive me nuts. Uh, so let's go to our, uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep my finger over the buzzer here. Well, sorry, can't do that because i got to type. Let's do a version check. We are looking at the Omnibus F4. So we're going to go ahead and update the firmware. And we are going to go Omnibus F4. That's the newest version. Let's load the firmware. And I believe when we flash, we're going to have to restart Betaflight because it won't automatically start. So let me go ahead and close Betaflight, open it back up. This buzzer is going crazy, so I'm just going to keep my finger over it. It's going to update firmware again. That's all it does is I always get stuck right here, not just with this board, but with quite a few of them ever since update. Now we're going to click flash firmware and it's going to automatically erase and load. So let's do that real quickly. All right, and in this build, we have the... Um, a TBS Crossfire Nano on here. So we're going to have to set that up and then we will get all the, we're going to load everything on this thing, get going with it, make sure everything tests out properly. Let me just let this flash real quick. Now remember on this F4v5, I don't believe there is a smart audio. Last time I checked there was not. I don't believe there's been any software to change that. I believe the F4v6 may have it. So loading the VTX table won't matter. What does matter is they give us the instructions here on how to change it and the button is literally right on the side here so it's very easy. Um, so, all right, uh, let's see. So let's connect, apply custom defaults. We're gonna connect, okay. Now, let's go ahead and go to our ports. First thing we know is that we are running the serial on UART 3. So we're gonna save. Okay, let's go back here and it says we have no motor protocol. For this one, I'm gonna do for my testing of this, I'm gonna put the motor protocol to 125. That can always change later. Okay, let's connect again. All right, so let's make sure we have our orientation right. We do, so that's good. All right, let's go here, reset our Z, calibrate. Our ports are good, let's go to configuration. Uh, we will turn this, this off. Uh, we will, uh, we can label this a DB5. Okay, uh, and let's see what we have here. Uh, we'll take air mode off, OSD is on. Uh, and we can pretty much leave everything just like that. All right, let's connect again. Uh, OSD wise, let me turn on my screen here and see if I even have something flashing. It's pretty much everything on this can run off of a five volt and you'll see most of it power up just off the USB. We actually do have, we do have something happening. Let me see. To check on that here in a little bit. Um, oh yeah, okay. So I will. Let me see if I power this up real quickly. Yep. So we have video and everything working fine. All right. Let me turn this off. Okay. Uh, so let's continue here. Uh, for the OSD, let's put our craft name at the bottom here. Uh, let's put our battery voltage at the top left here and let's put our flight mode, fly mode uh, here under it and leave that for now. We'll just leave it like that. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So next thing to do is we're just going to go into our... Um, we're going to go into, and the VTX works, the camera will not work for right now. We're going to go into our, uh, actually, you know what, let me just see what channel we're on. So we're on channel two. 
And then let me hold this down. I'm just going to change. What I'm doing here uh, is I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't interfere. So bear with me a second. Okay, that's camera off, which we can do for right now. I'm not really sure what the beeping is for, but that's fine. So let's power this up. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we are going to go into BL Heli. So let me click save. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to launch BL Heli real quickly. Oh, you guys can't see that. So let's do that right there. There we go. All right. And we are on Comport 88. Let's read the setup. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and do a flash anyway. I just want to flash it just to make sure we're all good. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Yes. Here we go. Okay, next one. All right, that'll be our fourth one. Awesome, okay. So now we flashed them all. We're gonna leave programming by TX there. So we're gonna click disconnect. I'm gonna power it off. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to our beta flight. Let's click connect, reset, calibrate. We're gonna to go to our motors. I'm gonna crank these all the way up. All right, and we're gonna turn that off. Disconnect, go back to BL Heli, read the setup. Okay, and now we're gonna basically adjust our PPM throttle values. So motor one, 10, 12, 2000, two, 10, 12, 2004, three, 10, 12, 2000, and four, 10, 12, 2000. So two needs to come down to 10, 12, 2000, just like that. And now we will clip all of them and we will remove the programming just like that, okay? So there we go, let's click OK. And then we can, well, we've already did the right setup, didn't we? Yeah, let's click disconnect. <coughs> All right, now we're gonna go back to beta flight and we're gonna check our motors. Okay, what we wanna do here is we wanna see if motor one spins. Oh my God, by luck it is motor one. Let's see motor two. Motor two spins motor four. Motor three spins motor two and motor four would spin motor three. So let's look at this. Two spins four, three spins two, and four spins three, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable our motors here. We're gonna go to our CLI. And we're gonna type resource. And we're gonna find our motor resource right here. Motors one through four is what we care about. Let's copy that, let's open a notepad. go we're gonna paste this now one spun one two spun three three spun four and four spun two so that's all we have to do right there copy this go back here paste it hit enter type save and now when we log back in we should see under motors motor one spin one but it's the wrong direction. Motor two, whoops, two spins three, uh-oh. Did I not save it? Oh, what did I do, hold on. Maybe I didn't save it, I guess. 
Go back to my notepad. Okay. Let's copy this. Actually, let's copy this and let's put the word save at the bottom. Because I must have missed that. And I'm only going to take these three, actually. Copy, here, paste, enter. Hopefully that should take care of it. Unless I've done something else goofy. Let's go to motor two. You know, two spins three. Okay, so let's, whoa. Let's go back to our resource, unless I did something wrong here, which I may have. So let me go back to resource. Uh, okay, four, three, two, and one. So copy, notepad. But well, you know, maybe I didn't copy it, I don't know. So let's try this again, control V. And let's do two. That's gonna be three, four, two, which is, I'm not even sure what happened there. Let's just try that. Uh oh, let's go here and paste it. Paste, enter, save. Let's see if that does it. I think I may have copied and pasted it wrong or what have you. Let's just see the motors, arm it, two. Oh, there we go. Two is right, wrong direction, three. Right, wrong direction, and four. Right, wrong direction, a uh, right, right direction. So all these are correct now. I guess I just did it wrong. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect, go back to BL Heli, read the setup, and so I've got one, two, and three need to be reversed, so motor one, we're gonna right click on it, motor one, reverse, right setup. Okay, motor two, reverse, right setup. Okay, motor three, reverse, right setup. Okay, and then disconnect. Now, when I go back to beta flight and I go to my motors tab and I click to arm it, one should spin clockwise and it does, two should spin counter, it does, three should spin counter, it does, and four should spin clockwise and it does. We're now set. So outside of putting our antenna back on here, everything is pretty much ready to go. So let's, uh, let's look at a few other things. Here, let's grab our monitor real quickly so I can show you this. Okay, here's our monitor. All right, and the reason it's flickering like this is because, you know what, I want it to, let me, let me put it on. We're gonna go to E, and then, okay, two lights, and it tells you, I believe it's here, uh, two LEDs, so that's what we want. That's 25 milliwatts, and we're on E1, and that should not interrupt us, so E1 that they have over here uh, is going to be uh, five six five eight. So let's let this search, see how close we can get. So five eight eight six. Let it scan. Okay, let's just leave it like that for right now. We can see that we have our, and don't forget guys, we don't have an antenna on here. Um, we can see that we have our name and everything here, so that looks good. I would say that there's a good chance that the configuration of my screen is probably not the right uh, setup. I don't think this TV, I don't think this screen has all the right channels programmed properly for the frequency. Uh, but, five, eight, what does it say here, five, eight, six, six. Uh, is talking about B8, which doesn't come very close. Uh, and it looks like I'm about to lose my, my bat, oh, 5866, okay. My battery looks like it's dying anyway. This is battery dying. Anyways, so we have that set. So now what we're gonna do is we are ready to let this cool down uh, and uh, get ready to test flight here in just a minute. Uh, everything looks like it's set up here. Our OSD is set up properly. Everything else is set up properly. So all we're going to do is wait to put that antenna on, which I'm going to do here in just a second. Samantha's bringing it to me. And there you go. We're done. This build is ready to go. And we're gonna, I'm going to link up the, beta, the uh, TBS to it. So I'll do that next and see where we go. All right, guys. So I will do the TBS part of this next, and I'll see you in just a little bit.